Hello, welcome. This is the ultimate tutorial to ground. I'll teach you many different runs and many different jukes. So let's get right into it. So my brother here is going to teach his run first. So go. So basically what you want to do is it's basically a normal funny run. But once you bounce yourself up, hit the ground, you hit it twice really quickly. And you want to rapidly. Like this? Yeah. Then you just go one. So but pretty much. Bring yourself forward on the so don't go like this and then go. Go like, it's kind of like skipping in real life. It's like, hit, one, two. Hit, one, two. Hit, one, two. But you do it really fast. Oh, that's that's actually a pretty good one. Except that my left hand can't hit properly. Or, or you can just do the old or, funny run. Just like. Like this. By flicking just your wrists, you can do the funny run, which is also not bad, but it isn't like the best. So now I'm going to teach my run. It's um, a little bit more complicated than most runs, um, but you can learn it pretty easily if you just practice it. So practice doing this with your left arm, just hitting it like hitting forward, like really forward, like really far. And once you practice that, just go back and forth from that, that wall. I call it Lucio wall. You'll probably hear me call it that. Um, to double walls over and over and over till you get good at that motion. The second motion is with your right hand, um, or you can do this the opposite. Practice this motion with your right hand and then do the other one with your left, which is what I like doing just because um, for me it's just a little easier. And the other arm do goes... Just, like, under past your arm like this? No. The other arm, you flick it, like you know how to flick. You flick it and you do that on the ground. Practice flicking it and pulling. And then once you get both of those down, you can do, like, not like that, like this. Like this. But make sure to keep off the ground. Yeah, like that. And then another thing you can do is, um, when you do it, tilt your head, whichever way you're running. So I'm running this way. Tilt your head just so you stay down to the ground more. And once you put it to all together, you can go really fast like this. Are you serious? <laughs> that was kind of trash, but still. Oh, big boy Lucy. <laughs> and flick your hands when, when you're doing it, just because it makes you go a little bit faster. So yeah, that's the three runs Lucy. that you can do. And here are some jukes. So here are some jukes. You can do these pretty much anywhere around the map. Um, so the first one is, let's say you're doing my method of running. When you're running, you can do it, but you can also go like this. Like, you move your hands back and forth, like kind of like this. And you can do that and just move back and then go forward. Like this and then whichever way they go you run the other way like this this is in action come on chase me oh okay so you can juke them pretty well if you know how to do it properly and the second juke is this guy's juke whichever juke he wants to pick so basically, basically everybody knows that the twist around the pole. This one? Right? Like the, just like the twist. But this is different. So when you go up, grab the pole and you just cross your arms. And it'll send you flying in one certain direction. Oh. Which can basically um, <laughs> confuse your opponents. Sometimes it doesn't work. So if you're risky, you put on your tail, just try it. Just like kind of pull yourself off the pole and then... Cross your arms, but make sure your two hands 
are both on the pole and not like this. Because then that won't really work too well. That will go like this. Yeah, and you'll just fall down and you probably will get dinged. And a way to control which way you're going is the is the arm that goes the farthest is the is the arm that will you will fling to. So now that that time my left arm went the farthest and I missed my right hand. Yeah, basically do that. Um, at this specific light specific light post, if you go this way and if you flick your hand that way, if you push this one far, if you push your right hand farther to coming at a straight angle. Like this, push your right hand farther. You'll go that way. that way. If you push your left hand farther, <laughs> it'll go this way. So if, like, if you control your direction and go, to this but but you have to if you if you don't do it properly, you can do it not properly if you're not grabbing on both hands equally. If you grab, let's say, your right hand here and your left hand weighs out there, and you do try to put your go to the right, you're gonna always go to that side, but. See, because because like you want to you want to um get into the middle of it, then you go like this. This is an action. It can just really like a lot. And also, if they think you're doing the roundabout juke, basically all you gotta do is if you come to the pole, you can just like hit it like that. Or if if they think you're doing the roundabout juke. Okay, so here's the third juke. So this is the third juke. Um, it wasn't me who made it up, but it was a pro player. I think it was either Mosa or Pig. Um, so pretty much you want to run up to it and grab it with one hand. Once you do it, and once you hold it with one hand, you fling yourself around and go back to the direction you were going, like like that, and it confuses them. It depends how how close they are on your tail. If they are super close, like right next, like right behind you, it's really good. But if they are like, let's say over here, and he does it, do it, I'll be running at him, and I will just terrible. be able to tag him because he didn't. Like, like, here, let me do it again, let me do it again. Now I tagged him. So, because, because it's very easy to predict what's going on. But if, but if you're close, close he gets. I have to. I have to bounce off the pole and shit. Yeah, and the third juke. Um, again, no. I think this is four. Maybe I don't know. You're really close to me. Um, the the third one. Ah. Um is um this juke you probably saw it many times in like montages and just public lobbies but it's this it's where you go and then you run it's you, you're doing this juke and then you go like that so how to do it is it's kind of easy so if you kind of know how to lose you not like a lot but like just clear staircases and once you can if you can do that you can go so pretty much what you do is, let's say um, I'm facing the wall like this. I go up with this hand, and then I smack. Actually, I go up with this hand, and then I smack down with the other one, like this. Then I run away. Or you can confuse them by pretending you're going to Lucio by going one, two, and then smacking down and running away. So there's two ways. This way... Or this way. This juke only works when they are somewhat far from you. If they are super close, they can just, when you go like this, they will just tag you from this side. So, and it also it only works if they're coming from this side and the wall is on this, this side of them. And let, just do it. I'll be running at him. I'll be running at him, and I'll be like, oh, he's going up the wall. And then I miss, because he goes away. Also, if you are going backwards, you will have to catch your opponent where they're far away. So if you go up the wall, go. I'm like, oh, shoot. And then I have to go back, because he, he got me. Like, if he pretends he's like, oh, my God, he's going up the wall. Look at, oh, now I'm lost. Yeah. Because if, if they're close to you, if they're close to you, you want to do the this one, the one, two, and then down. <laughs> it delays the time. <laughs> it delays the time. So yeah.
and um so this is five or maybe six one of the two i think it was five, five I think. um what you do is you go it's the og slide juke most people who watch J man do know how to do it already they go like this you just put your arm in there and then go out also if you do have not enough speed and you end up landing here and go around unless your arm is really long that will not work so you'll have to hop forward and then go but you'll just have to read that in the, in the time yeah. You want to just, you want to be, you don't want to be in the middle. You want to catch yourself kind of at the edge because then you can easily swing around. And you can also confuse people by like doing that, but actually not and going like this and then going and then just landing on the bottom of the slide because most people will follow you with that and they'll try and go around and then go this way. But if you end up landing down here, <laughs> down They'll try and fly around that, but if you go up to the bottom of the slide, you can just run this way. Bruh. Okay, so the, uh, the sixth or seventh final juke is... Lucy! Oh, baby girl! Let me get in there. <laughs> Okay, hello. I'm back. Oof, you got monkey. That sucks for you. So this this next juke can be effective, and you can do it in a lot of places. So you run, and wherever like there's a ramp, you can smack like that. Like you can smack. And you and you go back. And and ah, if but if they're trailing you like really far back it doesn't work because they have to be like right behind you or else they'll tag you like let's 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 reenact it if say they're close this is what happens if they're far away come and get me like that I got you. so yeah you can also do it up you can also do it up here by going and they get juked. But this this one is way more predictable because it's used lots more than the other one. These are predictable jukes, but you can if you can't do them, then do them. So it's, it's also the same thing. It's also the same thing with the branch. Just go up um, at the end of the bridge. You can come off the bridge and hit the top. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it on any kind of curved or angled surface. Like here, you can do it. This is probably this is probably the best spot to do it. Or you can do it right here, like that. Um, so that was the ultimate <laughs> ground tutorial. It might not have helped you, but if it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, if this video gets to 50 subs 50 likes actually that's i'm sitting way too high standards if this video gets to 20 likes i will be giving away 1000 shiny rocks for 1000 subscribers so make sure you subscribe and like this video bye